How many arms does it take to screw on a shelf? How many? Too many. How many screws Stand to feet. be dropped? Do you remember your dad out this morning? How long? I literally got out of bed not two seconds ago. His dad's head was under your armpit. Pretty soon? <laughs> there is a theory when buying your first boat, which basically says this. Don't blow your budget on the boat of your dreams until you are certain that being on a boat is actually your dream. Oh, this is so nice with this up here. It makes such a difference. And there's so much storage. The problem with this theory is that if you know that your boat is temporary, will you invest the time, effort, and money to make the boat a home? A thousand pounds. Wow, I like it though. I like that. Anything could be had on a boat for the right price. Before our family moved into friendship, we had spent the previous six years living in rental houses and in an RV that we knew would inevitably be sold in order to make way for our live aboard life. So the ability to make a place truly our own has been limited. When it came time to buy the boat though, we knew that we were ready to customize whatever we bought guilt free. So she'd better be the right boat. And for our family, friendship really is that boat. Join us as we have a weekend of boat projects that will help us transform friendship into the perfect boat for us. Thank you so much to our patrons whose support make these episodes possible. I saw you from across the room. Now, the planet is two thirds covered in water, which is great as it gives us space to keep busy. I'm going drag racing. <laughs> I love this video. Can you talk to me when you get back to me? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Trash girl. But as cruisers, if there is anything on land which we need to manage, it means either renting a car or taking public transportation. In our case, we find that there is no better way to get a feel for a place than taking a bus or a train or whatever the region offers. To get started on the plan for the day, we had to make a trip to the local home improvement store to get the items needed to accomplish our goal of making friendship more of a home. Adventures and Home Depoting. Mm -hmm. We haven't done this in so long. Remember when we used to come to Home Depot in the US every two days when we were remodeling houses? So today we are getting ourselves into DIY mode. Today we are getting ourselves into challenge mode. Today we are gonna ask ourselves, how many things can we accomplish in one day on the boat? We've got a tall order of things we have to do. One of them involves a lot of woodwork. So that number of things that we're gonna get done may be short and may be big. We got one day to figure it out. Go. Doing. <laughs> Have you checked on it lately? It's got its own seat. It's got its own seat. They charge if they have to. <laughs> for us, if we issue ourselves a challenge, it's really hard to back down. But the idea of how many things can we get done in a day may be slightly limited because of the fact that it's already 11 a.m. and we still have an hour and a half to get back to friendship. But either way, we're committed to the task and we'll push ourselves to the limit to get there, wherever there winds up being. I think as we start this vlog of how many projects we can get done in one day, we should all take a guess of how many we actually think we're gonna complete. Now, Will, I think, has 20 or 30 on the list. I'm guessing we're gonna probably end up getting about 10 done. What do you think, Avalon? High teens. High teens. Ooh, she's very overzealous. I love it. So, project number one is something Largo's working on. We have two huge fenders. And they had fender covers on them originally back when we first bought the boat, but they've since fallen off. So he is cleaning the fenders right now and getting them ready for project number two, which is new fender covers. Now I'm gonna tell you, this boat is a disaster because we've got everything for the projects all over the place. So bear with us. Project number one, update. How are we doing over here cleaning? Oh, that looks great. 
Progress. Progress? Zero. Zero? <laughs> Everything in here is just so ingrained into it that I can't get it out. How about, is there any mucky stuff that can come off, like up top near the rope? I've tried here. That won't come off? This won't come off. How about on the bottom? Maybe? Mm. It's actually not a too dirty it's of a fender. Clean. Yeah. All right, go at it a little bit longer and then we'll see where we can get before we put the this beautiful new coat on it. Project number two. This And actually, this thing looks like it should be a project, but it's not the one I'm talking about for number two. Miss Avalon, how are you doing on fender covers? Very good. We have two decathlon t-shirts here, and I'm just like stringing twine through the bottom seam, the bottom uh, hem, and then we're going to put that around the fenders and like pull it tight. What are you going to do with the armholes? Are you make like we a scarecrow? have not decided either. We'll leave them out and just like fold them in, being lazy that way, or we will actually take the time to sew them in. We'll see. And is this an Avalon DIY hack? Um, I guess it could be. Yeah, it could be. Absolutely. Why not? Oh my gosh, you could write a book on DIY hacks for sailboats. For boats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, project number, this is not project number three. So what are you doing, mom? Okay, well, I got a little sidetracked because the window was so disgusting. But my job right now is to replace the snaps that are on here, right, these two, and then put the window shade back on. They, they need to be, I feel like every week one of these flies off and we've got it flapping. And it's something I kind of just stick on like on the back burner. I'm like, I'll get to it when I can get to it. So today is the day I'm getting to it. And I'm cleaning the window. Could that be like so project, project three and a half? Project 3.5 is the windows. <laughs> 3 .5 and then is a window. Project, wait, what? No, project 2.5 is the windows. Yes. And three is the snaps. Perfect. I'm game with that. Avon is dressing our fender. <laughs> it's like a very, very large baby that does nothing. With a very big head. <laughs> Only a head. Only a head. That's all it's got. <laughs> I hope this fits. We never really measured it. It's gonna be tight. No! Oh, no! No! Did it fall out? The pieces went no. up. Ah. Should I come back tomorrow once you have that fixed? That might take me a little while. Hold on. There's one. Ta-da! Don't get distracted by boats having fun during boat project day. <laughs> I see your envy, Avalon. It's so hot out here. Ah, oh my god! Why? You can see you. Pick me up. Take me on the jet ski. Save me, save me from fender work. Just a second, Laura, I'm coming back, I promise. Tomorrow. <laughs> Ta -da! Ta -da! Okay, tucking the arms in, you think that's gonna work? Chosen the lazy way out. I think it works. But it works. It's a good hack. Ah. Throw them in the water. Goodbye, baby. Project number four is cleaning the windows, which actually was not on the project list until I started messing with the window shades. And I realized how dirty these windows are. Disgusting. How's it going, Largs? How's the progress? Yeah, it's going good. It is? Yeah. All right. Yeah. During this cleaning, it's allowed me to reflect a lot about my life and how we need mom and dad to clean more than us. You do? <laughs> That's the epiphany you've come to here? Yep, big epiphany. Okay, project two is done. The fenders are covered and stuff. Okay, three and four are in progress because I got derailed on, on number three because four came in with cleaning the windows. Project five. Do you want project five? Yes, what's project five? Project five, do you need a snack break? No. Project five is we're going to glue down the sides of your walls that are coming apart. Ha ha, kitty! You will not get away with what you have done to my room. She, she didn't do that. that. She no. did, she ripped the she wall apart. Never she that. did. No. You did not do that. No, you did not. Did she do that, Laura? I don't know. You're such a good kitty. I think Avalon did that to our own walls. Why? Since she would never do that. Project number six, which we may actually stop at project number six because it's <laughs> such a big one. <laughs> Welcome to our tool shed or our tool sate storage unit. It's uh, Wildebeest Dream Chest. It is mostly what I inherited, but we've been we've been adding on to this tool ensemble quite a bit since we've got on boat. Uh, we are going to be building shelves in closets. We're going to be building two shelves in Jessica in my room, and we're going to be building two shelves in Laura's room. Avalon actually likes having like a proper closet, so we're not touching your closet, which is good for us because it's less work for us to do. Do you think 
Why do they have so many closets on boats? Do you think people, that many sailors use closets? Isn't that more for like I'm formal? not gonna judge the apparel choices of anyone else on their boats. <laughs> I just know that on our boat, we sort of like to go simple. I and think we so... should take a poll in the comments. What do you think? Closets on boats or shelves? I what do you vote for, Will? If we're gonna be in nothing but warm weather, I, I vote shelves. There's no need for closets. We don't need jackets. What's Sentry doing? Is she your little helper, your mascot? Look at her, she wants to help. Oh my gosh. Sentry, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. I think she's peeing. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> she doesn't go any place but the potty. She's a smart kitty. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Maybe not so smart. Back to work! Okay, okay, we're coming. I can see project number five is coming right along here. <laughs> What's the update with your project? It is, we have this piece of the wall off and we need to glue this back in place. Oh, so you took the piece off so you can glue it underneath? Yes. Oh, you're so smart. It's not gonna go underneath though. This bit is just a bit too small. So I'm just hoping, I'm, I'm hoping the glue will keep it in place, counting on that. That's probably why it keeps coming undone. All right, mm -hmm. let's do this. Did you so, read the directions yes, on Yes, I did. You're supposed to also, it'll burn your eyes, skin, and a bunch of other things, so maybe grab us some gloves. Oh my um, god, okay. We're gonna put it on the lowest setting. What does that like say? That. that you need muscles to do it? No, that means it's really strong. Oh. <laughs> but also, yes. <laughs> we can do this. Um, okay. We need something to cover our hands, or I can just wash my hands right after. Okay. I for this project, essentially some of the fabric lining was coming undone, so we had to re-adhere it with an extra strong spray glue. What we did not realize about this glue spray is that it would also help us test one of our needed systems. Why don't you get out of here? I can't get in the way. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a gas alarm. Wow, it works. Well, how do you turn this off, honey? The gas alarm. Like that, I guess. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go up on deck. Did you turn it off or did it do it on its own? It just did it on its own. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm done test number four, which is what, window cleaning? And everyone's finishing up test number three. We still have task five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and up to 30. Do we? We up to 30? Oh my god. Here's task number three to book on. One of the things about friendship is that her previous owners took great care of her. These window covers that you see here are all handmade and are beautiful. But like anything on a boat, the elements take a toll and we have to do our part to keep it working right. At this point on these window shades, I feel like we'd replace every snap. We should have just done them all at once and been good with it. So then, is are the window shades the same window shades as they were before? So we replaced every bit. Are they the same or are they new ones? We know. haven't replaced the actual shades. So they're not actual new shades. Is that a trick question? Yes, it is. I don't think I have enough sleep it's to answer It's a philosophy that. puzzle. It's a philosophy puzzle. If you replace every bit of something, is it the same thing or is it something new? Well, well we didn't replace new. every bit because but if we, we still had got... replaced every bit, it's, it's something, something new. new. So a boat really? is brand new like every five years in. Basically. You don't replace the actual <laughs> boat. Project number, what project was your number? Number six? 65. No, really. Was it six? Yeah. Project number six. Where's Logo? Gotta go this way. Oh, over here. Where's He's Logo? inside. In He's where? It's inside the closet. Yeah, 57. Logo? Hello. What are you doing in there? Hiding. Hiding. How's project number six coming along? Uh, frustrating. What's your role in this part, Logo? Um, I'm holding this. Other than that, I'm doing nothing. Are you tape measure holder? <laughs> Since they did not cut the size at the hardware store, we will cut the size on our own. We will cut the size ourselves with an angle grinder. It's not gonna be a precision cut. So finally, it was time to get started with the shells. Now, as far as safety on the boat, I must admit we were a little nervous about using the angle grinder while we were on anchor, but we're trying to mimic every single situation that we may be in if there's a real emergency. So with the comfort and safety of a calm anchorage, we gave it a shot. For the next cuts, they will definitely be on land. Went all the way through. No, not in the beginning, no. Oh, it's making a mess. We have my a, eyes hurt, yes, we have, we have and a, so do my ears. Setting. How does it look? I think we did it. We did I it. think we did the best that we possibly could. It'll probably come undone again because this is just a tiny bit too short to be held underneath that piece. 
But otherwise, I think we did a pretty good job and it'll probably hold for a while. We could test it by letting Sentry climb on it. And nope. <laughs> nope, actually, like let's close idea? the door just in case. I don't want her coming in here right now. When they, when they say you have to learn how to figure things out on your own on a boat, I think we'll figure things out. With yeah. all the people just laying around, exactly. having beach time, and we're dragging our wood we're into put, shore to cut putting, on the side of the street. We're putting wood pulp over topless women. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that this is 100% safer than being on the boat, but the idea of being solid ground is much more appealing. If we were land-based, we definitely would have had sawhorses, clamps, and everything else. But for now, the side of the road is the best we can do. Okay, so project number seven is defrosting the fridge and cleaning that out. So far, I've taken, well, I've unplugged the fridge first and taken all the food out and now I'm spraying it with vinegar and mom's gonna come over and wipe it all out afterwards. So that is what we're working on right now. So, how did job number six, six go? We got some cut, we got some not cut. Our battery died on our, on our cordless angle grinder. This doesn't have much battery charge in it. This may it? have to be done tomorrow. No, we can go back. How long does it take to charge it? It takes a little while. Oh, okay. Maybe this might make it to day two. This may be day two. But we can we can still, well, I don't know. We'll do our best. We'll, we'll do, do day best. two. Welcome to day two of boat projects. Um, yes, we did not accomplish too much yesterday. We got five done. This is number six, and number six apparently is gonna take several days because it needs to dry, we need to flip it, we need to sand the other side. But we're gonna continue doing boat projects and some errands today because we got a lot to do, basically. We have no choice. And we need to get this boat in order a bit because we're probably gonna have some guests tonight and it can't look like this. We've got a mountain of clothing in our closets that they put away on these shelves. Right. And sticky clo clothing on sticky shelves is not going to work. Probably doesn't dry so well in humidity either, but this is what we got. Okay, so project number, who knows? Seven. 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 Eight. I thought it was eight. I thought it was eight. So this project, basically, we are making a way to attach all of our floaty things to the boat in a like secure way so they don't fall, fall off because that would be bad. Anyway, what we're doing is we have these little clips that are attached onto the um, stuff here. They are being attached to the bungee cords and we are measuring it out and then tying them onto the edge. It's onto a very the edge. high precision job, isn't it's, it? It's very high precision, yes. So high precision. But it works. So we're just gonna tie a knot in the end here and then we're gonna burn it so that it doesn't fall off. And after that, we have a foolproof way to save our floaties. Woo. So we don't have to deflate them or stick them in the bedrooms or? Exactly, yeah. Ready to burn? Burning. Ah, it's too windy out here. You want a clean, clean break on that? There we go. Like unicorn logo. We don't we don't want a broken unicorn. There, it's clipped on. And the other side's good too? Yep. Being adaptable to any situation is the defining characteristic of a successful cruiser. And in our case, it's clear that with guests coming on board that night, we had to reprioritize the boat jobs. So we added on exchanging propane tanks and provisioning up for the night's festivities but we still had room for a few more. Is this boat project number nine? This what number are we got? And we're feasting tonight. We're feasting tonight on cleaning products and vinegar. Woo! 
Project number 8,833.5, take 85, because Will can't figure out how to blow it up. It's <laughs> getting there. These, these, these newfangled <laughs> pumps come with like different adapters, and I'm used to holding the type that sort of has for the bike, and now they have like all these different like things that go along with it. Oh and my God, back in our day, it and was we just got, one thing. Well, here's the thing, we got, we, we asked, we asked for several fenders um, when some neighbors of ours went to the, to the chandelier, and I thought they always come pumped up because whenever we buy them from the chandelier, they're always full. Instead, they came like this, which I assume is sort of the way that they're normally packaged. I want you to try something. See, try it. Just humor me and blow that other one up by mouth. Not that one. <sighs> That's the empty disgusting. one. No, it's like it's like it's like. It's Some say you have a lot of hot air. Stop. That's your department. That's not mine. <laughs> I think this is project number Look at ten. It. Like, what do you do? You have to like a forked tongue. <gasps> No, that doesn't work out. Plus, I don't want moisture in there. Is it project number 10? I think it's project number 10. I am working on staining the underside of the shelves that go inside the closet. I don't know who does that, but I'm a bit OCD as well as I find it quite therapeutic to be sitting out here with the wind and the air and the fumes and just swishing like this because it seems pretty easy and mindless and I feel like I need that today. Plus, you get to watch all the other boats almost hit each other trying to find space in this anchorage. So project number 10 is now complete. We have many fenders all over our dinghy. I feel like we're tricking out our ride here. We're gonna put a little like neon glow underneath as well. But um, one here, one here, and one over here. And I feel like it gives me a little self-confidence that when we leave the dinghy alone, that it's not gonna bang up against maybe another propeller or who knows what. Um, unnecessary, maybe. But if I'm more confident we're leaving the dinghy alone, I think it's worth it. So with about an hour to go until our guests arrived, if you haven't noticed, we've been entertaining a lot. We were putting the finishing touches on the shelves and storing everything away. Wait, is that, is that facing upwards? It feels like it's going up. Right. No. Are you sure it won't go through the wall? I'm checking. I hope not. Alright, that's it. We'll tighten that afterwards. I'm there just go. gonna say that Marie Kondo would say that all the stress that's been involved to get these in here, these are gonna bring us so much joy. These actually are pretty good looking shelves, to be honest. Oh, thanks. Dad and I put a lot of work into them. We're thinking when we get to the Caribbean, we're gonna be, we're gonna outsource Go ourselves as professional shelf makers. Personally, if I would've been doing this, it would've been a sheet of plywood and like one shelf. I can't believe you put like the varnishing on it too. We don't do anything halfway, Avalon. Okay, and instant success. We've been living with clothes all over the place in this boat ever since we got on board. And it's not a question of uh, whether we were comfortable, it's just it's a question of when we were finding the ideal solution. And now, hopefully, this is it. Oh, Will, show everyone your, your fancy, sh fancy <laughs> If you invite Will and I out to dinner at your place, he will wear I this. I will not wear this. This was a special momentous occasion where we were celebrating a birthday and well, there's pictures of it on Instagram someplace, but that's pretty much where it is. It's going to hang out there until another Don't special occasion. Don't lie to people. You love to wear that to fancy dinners. I should. Might, might as well own really? it. Why not? I got it. Might as well have it. So what would you charge someone if they wanted shelves like this in their boat? Um, I don't know if they'd want my novice quality, but a day's work is probably worth like two beers. So, how'd this job go? Almost there. Oh, we I have to. We're almost there. We still gotta stain it, sand it, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we're nowhere close cutting. to there. Project number 883.5, take 10, because we we'll can't figure out how to blow this thing up. <laughs> I'm having a hard time finding the right adapted. That's starting to get there. I think it took us more than a day or two. <laughs> We're not going to tell the viewers this, but we've been working on this for a year now. That's not true. <laughs> Back when we were in lockdown, right? That would be... Uh... Kind of humiliating. <laughs>